Have you ever noticed that every anti-aging product from serums to moisturizers seems to include hyaluronic acid? It's everywhere. But why? Is it really the holy grail of hydration or is it just another overhyped ingredient with a fancy name? And more importantly, do you know the right way to use it? Could you actually be using it wrong? Today, we're going to unravel the mystery behind hyaluronic acid, what it is, how it works, where it goes wrong, and how to use it in the right way. Welcome back. I'm Dr. Maria Sisian, a board-certified general surgeon and an IFM-certified functional medicine physician. On this channel, I share health tips on skin health, food and supplements, functional medicine, surgery, and the latest medical research to help you feel your best. And if that sounds good, please like, share with your friends and family, and subscribe. So now, in simple terms, hyaluronic acid, or HA, is a sugar molecule, specifically a glycosaminoglycan, and it's naturally found in your skin, connective tissue, and eyes, and it has a powerful ability to hold water, like a sponge. In fact, Hyaluronic acid's claim to fame is that it can hold up to a thousand times its weight in water, at least in theory. But not all HA in skincare behaves the same way, and that's where things get interesting, and we'll talk more about that. But first, let's look at why hyaluronic acid is everywhere and why skincare brands absolutely love it. Well, the easy answer is because it's fast, it's visible, and it's familiar to our skin. Let's break it down in more detail. First, it instantly hydrates. So when applied properly, HA attracts moisture to the top layers of your skin, giving it a dewy, refreshed look. And then it plumps the skin. And this is perhaps the most important cosmetic effect. By drawing water into the skin, HA creates volume and fullness, visibly smoothing the surface fairly quickly, and it smooths the fine lines, again, temporarily, and we all know that dehydrated skin makes wrinkles look worse, so HA fills in those gaps, and it also supports your skin barrier. Well-hydrated skin is less prone to irritation, redness, and environmental stress, and this is why HA is in everything from serums to moisturizers to sheet masks. A popular question is, what is the right way to use hyaluronic acid? So here's how to make HA actually work. Apply it on damp skin after cleansing or misting while your skin is still moist. Seal it in. This is very important step. Follow HA with a rich moisturizer or a facial oil to lock the water in. This is critical. Otherwise, HA may evaporate and take your skin's moisture with it. Use it once per routine. One product with HA is enough, no need to layer a toner, serum, and cream all containing HA. Choose a multi-weight molecular formula. Hyaluronic acid comes in different molecular weights that affect how deeply it penetrates the skin, and these include high molecular weight for surface hydration, medium molecular weight for mid-level layers, and low molecular weight, which can reach deeper layers of the skin. And the best hyaluronic acid products combine high, medium, and low molecular weight molecules. And this helps hydrate both the surface and deeper layers while minimizing the risk of irritation. And this is due to the fact that low molecular weight um, hyaluronic acid can penetrate deeper layers more effectively, but some studies have shown that it may also cause increased irritation. Next point is check the concentration. HA is most effective at 0.5 to 1% and should not exceed 2%. Higher doesn't mean better. In fact, too much can dehydrate or irritate your skin. I have to say that HA isn't just in creams and serums. It also plays a role in injectables, and you all know them. Dermal fillers like Juvederm and Restylane are made from cross-linked hyaluronic acid. They're used to restore volume in areas like the cheeks and lips and under eyes. And since HA is already present in our bodies, these fillers integrate well with the skin and then they gradually dissolve over time. A lot of people are surprised to find out that there are oral hyaluronic acid supplements. And some studies show that taking hyaluronic acid orally may improve skin hydration, elasticity, and even reduce the depths of wrinkles. 
DHA supplements have also been studied for their role in joint health, helping to lubricate the joints, reduce pain, and support cartilage, especially well in conditions like osteoarthritis. But as with many supplements, it's very hard to quantify the efficacy of all these supplements, so more research is needed. On that note, when it comes to hyaluronic acid, it's not all sunshine and glow. Remember earlier I mentioned HA's famous claim to fame that it can hold thousand times its weight in water. Well, in real world skincare, it's more like 10 to 50 times, depending on the formula, definitely not thousand times. And then I also want to reiterate about low molecular weight HA. It is supposed to penetrate better, but it can actually trigger inflammation in some people, leading to redness, breakouts, or even dermatitis. Next drawback is that HA doesn't always pull water from the air. In dry climates or indoor heating, it can pull water from the deeper layers of your own skin, dehydrating you over time. It can also happen if you don't follow it with a sealing moisturizer. Finally, overusing HA layering multiple products with sort of the same within the same routine can backfire. More isn't better. So what to do instead or alongside? If you're looking for a healthy, hydrated skin long-term, don't rely on HAs alone. HA work beautifully with ceramides, niacinamide, and peptide, helping build this long-term resilient with combination of different ingredients. Use it strategically, not excessively. Prioritize multi-weight formulas in the right concentration and discuss it with your dermatologist or esthetician. Focus on inside-out hydration. Drink water, eat water-rich foods, uh, get healthy fats, and sleep. And that can't be underestimated. As we always say on this channel, skin beauty comes from within. And along the same lines, support your skin's own HA production with gentle exfoliation, facial massage, anti-inflammatory nutrition. So to summarize it, is hyaluronic acid a miracle molecule or just a smart marketing? Well, the truth actually it's both. When used wisely, in the right form, at the right dose, it can absolutely help your skin look plumper, smoother, and in general, just more hydrated and more beautiful. But if you are overusing it or using it wrong, then it, you could be doing yourself a disservice and it will be doing the opposite. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, subscribe, and drop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.